what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can download virtual machine windows images uh, legally so we're going to be taking a look at a couple of ways of going about doing this now the first one we're going to be looking at is uh, Microsoft developer.microsoft.com this is a, a website where you can get their VMs okay uh, for download now you can see here select the download that you want to use and this is a virtual machine this is be completely legal for all your testing purposes you can see here these virtual machines expire after 90 days we recommend uh, setting a snapshot uh, when you first install your virtual machine which you can roll back to later on now what they mean by that is uh, if you don't make a, a snapshot the actual image will uh, expire after 90 days but if you make a snapshot all you need to do is roll that back each time and I'll show you how to do that in this video so first off let's take a look at what we want to do here you can either download here IE8 on uh, Win 7 86 or you can go right the way through here and choose what you want you can see here uh, Microsoft Edge on Windows 10 X64 stable and you've got a few others here uh, Windows 81 uh, which is 8.1 uh, times 86 and you've also got some other ones so choose which one you want to go for and you can hit the download button so let me just quickly do that for you just to show you so let's go ahead and do Windows 7 here and you can now choose the virtual box and you can see VMware which is really common Hyper-V is another common one if you want to use that and you can see Mac here as well and some other bits and pieces so just choose what you want to do there now I'm going to show you another site here which you can use uh, which is this one here I'll leave the links in the video description but basically you just choose what you want to do here virtual machines in the list uh, and you can see you can choose what virtual machines that you want to run you can see XP Vista 7 and so on so if you want to do 7 or you want to do XP or 10 you can just choose whatever you want and then you can select what version you want here so for instance if you want the enterprise level you choose that and then you can choose uh, the method you want to run it on which is say VirtualBox, VMware, VPC or whatever so let's just say VirtualBox here and we can now use Windows or Mac I'm going to use Windows here and it will give you the download link to download uh, the actual file here so you can choose which method uh, that you want so I'm going to go back to the Microsoft because I prefer to use uh, the Microsoft website because these are from the source which is Microsoft themselves and I prefer to use those so I'm going to hit the uh, download zip for Win 7 and we'll just let that download okay the download is now complete here I'm just going to quickly open up a folder which is called VM and I'm going to quickly um, unzip this file and I can now drag it into that folder I can either drag it straight into here now into my VM folder which I've got onto another drive and this will bring that across there okay that's now transferred across so we can close these off and we're finished with the Microsoft site I'm just going to open up VirtualBox now you will need to download VirtualBox from their website so what we want to do here is we want to open up our VirtualBox here and I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to go straight up to where it says import appliance from here import appliance we're going to make sure we're in expert mode here which I'm already in and uh, what we're going to do is go to the browse locate your file you can see here open virtualization format dot OVA dot OVF so I'm just going to click on this one click open And you now see it all set up down here so now we can uh, click on import here so I'm going to go import and it will start to import that image across now you can't create an image by going new and import image that way because it won't recognize the OVA uh, file so you have to do it this way so just let this go across now 
and uh, we'll take a look at it. Once that's finished uh, importing that, you'll see it here. So we can now click on this here. And what you want to do is you want to create a snapshot because in 90 days time, uh, the the uh, license for this will run out and you will have issues. So you want to come up to where it says snapshot up here. So you can see machine tools, snapshots, click on snapshot and you can take a snapshot here. And I'm going to call this backup or whatever you want to call it. Click OK here and it will create a snapshot there. And we can revert back to that each time. Once we've done that, we can click on start. You can change all the settings as you wish, i.e. the RAM and stuff like that, depending on your machine. But I'm just going to leave mine as it is here and just let this boot up. And we should now boot straight up into Windows 7. There we go. And there we are at uh, the desktop. So what I can do here is I can drag this open and make this... Uh, decent size so you can see there we go and we've got all the information we need here and we can now use Windows 7 so here we have all the information and it gives you all the information here about what version it is what service pack you're running the password is password uh, mentioned here gives you all the information and these are great for testing or whatever you want to do and also they do supply windows 10 and other versions as well so microsoft are giving you those versions so you can test and play with so that's the quickest and easiest way uh, to uh, set up these and it gives you a lot of other information over on here as well like rearming and stuff like that and there is your windows 7 got all your information here what you can click on programs whatever you want to do you can do malware testing um, whatever you like to do uh, with your VMs and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can install uh, virtual machine images and they would be obviously all the versions that we talked about earlier uh, into VirtualBox and you can also use them in VMware and other well, other versions of software as well Anyway, I hope this video has been useful. If you have, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Have a great day, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.